Alright guys, this is Ben Streeper from 405th.com, section 16 at freeforums.org, uh, the wide, the wonderful, the beautiful YouTube, and now the Replica Prop Forums. Uh, what we are doing today is I was doing a top coat resin on the Busa, hardening him up, getting him ready to work on. Uh, what happened with that, I know you guys are all wondering, is it actually did work. But I was wasting too much plastic. Uh, I was pouring about two and a half ounces and I was getting about a third of an ounce use. So what I did is I went ahead and I just resined the top of it so it wouldn't uh, warp, turned it over, and then I held the top that was resined, uh, and resined by plastic I mean, and started slush casting it in there. And so I've now slush casted the entire helmet. It's nice and hard, uh, but not hard enough for me. So, eh, somebody out there is going, giggity. All right. Um, so, what I'm going to do with this, is I'm going to go ahead and fall back on my trusty Foment. Uh, today, we're using Foment 5. And I'm going to go ahead and slush cast some Foment in there just to make it a little bit firmer. Uh, and it's going to give me some, some working space to carve in my details because... I am going to have to carve in details over here, here, uh, back here on the corner. I'm going to have to carve in details all over the mask. There's a couple of details here and here, and some custom details I'm going to go ahead and do on the back. So, especially back here, this is going to be, uh, we'll just say that's that, that piece is going to be interesting. So anyway, without further ado, we'll go ahead and foam it. Foam at 5 is a one-to-one -one mixture. It is a rigid expanding foam. I'm going to use our standard, what we always uh, work with when you work with me. We're doing our 3 ounce cups into a 16 ounce cup, so we have plenty of mixing room. So we got 3 ounces of part yellow. To that we are adding 3 ounces of part blue. And guys at Reynolds, if you're watching today, uh, I'm going to be ordering more of this foment because it is awesome. And I have a giant elite pepped out that I need to work on. So this will be my elite hardening method. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and reuse my mixing stick from earlier. We're mixing that up. I wanna get this in close on the camera. You can see the not mixed area down there is a dark brown. When you mix it, it literally starts to foam while you agitate. Agitate meaning mix. All right, so we're foaming that up. Once you get a nice, uh, nice foam on it, go ahead and take out your mixing stick, get your brush, mix it up with the brush zone. That's gonna agitate it even more get you a nice mix going then pour it in your helmet and just simply brush it around now you got to work with this stuff pretty quick because it does it, it's expanding foam so I mean it it expands quick so luckily you can slush cast it for a little while so I'm going to go ahead and slush cast that around in there. And you can see it's already thickening up. So we got that little slush cast and we're just going to take our brush, brush it around. As you're brushing it, you will see the color change on the foam. That's because you are continuously agitating that foam. You know, just think of it like when you used to call your little brother names. You know, the more names you called him, the madder he got, the more he puffed up. That's exactly what you're doing here. You are just puffing up your little brother with this foam. And so, let's see if we can get that moving around in there a little bit. You want to get your foam all nice and fluffy in there. Move it around, paint it around, go as fast as you can. Why are you doing this? This is one of the reasons why you want to harden this helmet before you do this. 
because even though it has a 30 minute sit time, this stuff, uh, it foams quick. So it won't get fully hardened for 30 minutes, but it'll foam up, uh, it'll foam up very quickly. That's about all the working time we're going to get out of this one. You see that? That didn't last very long at all. So I'm going to have to pour up another batch. But let me give you a look at what's going on inside here. You got this nice mustardy color as our foam. Now this is going to expand to, what does this one do? Foam at 5 expands to 10 times its original volume. So even though it doesn't look like a lot in here, it's actually going to expand out to about right here inside this helmet and because it's a rigid uh, urethane foam it expands and turns into plastic guys so that's that's what I've been working with the reach helmet with so 